Hunter x Hunter episode 83, Inspiration X to X Evolve. Oh man, it'd be so cool if like suddenly all the hunters assemble. I didn't even thought about this. And we haven't really seen that much except for uh I saw Net Net Netero in the opening. This is so cool. This is such a good idea. Oh my god. That was a cool shot. Oops. <laughs> Looks like they got a ladybug invitation along with the camera heads. Wow, we have Hunter Society politics. Suddenly, Jujutsu Kaisen. Did these four just save the world? Yeah, they're very organized. Kind of like ants, I guess. Right, she keeps giving birth to kings. Man, I thought it was scaling in a terrible way before this. Yeah, this is one of those things if you don't catch it early, it's over. I wonder who else is gonna show up. Honestly speaking, at this level of threat, it, it should be it should be everyone. This is a humanity ending moment. Hisoka should go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing another fanfic, but uh, if it's up to me, Phantom Troop also involves. Jing should really be here as well. If you can, you know, put alienating his son on hold for a moment. Everyone. <laughs> right. I'm with Kurt. Yeah, he had his Ned nose blasted open. The time to lay down the hammer has passed. Wow, Gon did this. Gon and Kalua, unwittingly. I didn't realize. I guess they didn't either. They had the, uh, what do you call it? Battle Tower welcome. And he just took that and ran with it. And that's how all of them got Nen power. Would you take a Nen punch from Ramit? I probably would. I'd risk it. And I'd probably die, but... To, to the face, no less. I knew the risk, but what's so cool about this, I didn't realize how quickly this would scale into a potentially international, worldwide war. The way I originally conceived it was Gon and Kalua and Kite and maybe a few others showing up to the island and dealing with the early threats, but looks like it's gonna be so much more than that. Like the whole world is just split into two factions. <laughs> And these three are on the front lines. That's horrifying. This is so well done. Which emo did the queen eat? Yeah, going back to what I said initially about like, going and Kluwa just blasting through waves of mindless enemies. This actually is turning out to be kind of true, despite the fact that some of them are sentient, but it's way more difficult than I thought. Like, going and Kluwa together couldn't even finish off, uh, Ramit. We need another bad roll ASAP. Just shoot him. I reject your binary options. Tri trinary options. No. Just attack him. Just stop waiting for him to talk. <laughs> well, I was so busy rejecting their binary options, I liked it, wasn't even paying attention to the options. Given that it's Hunter Hunter, I half expect them to have a contingency plan, but like having seen the setup, it's hard for me to imagine what that is. I think you take a page out of the Hunter exam book and you feign one thing and then do another. Deception next deception. Huh? Okay, we just accepted their terms, but yeah, I guess one on one is. <laughs> they can't wait. <laughs> Risk of death aside, they just can't wait to get in there. They're just built different. I should have known. <laughs> they like never reject the fighting option. Well, like invoke some fighting in between them. They just brought this? They just had this? 
This guy looks tough. Speaking of which, this kind of is like the hunter exam. The prisoner fight, except much higher stakes. Well, he kind of made a mistake there, though. What? <laughs> In this situation, too? He's an ant armadillo, Gon. <laughs> oh, yeah, he loves animals more than he loves humans. There's that Metal Gear Solid quote, the cornered fox is more dangerous than a jackal. It's something I first saw in uh, Sun Tzu's Art of War. If you want the best chance of defeating your enemy, you would think you leave them no chance of escape and just annihilate them. What you want to do is like leave them a very, very, very narrow pathway of escape so that in the back of their mind, they know they can leave and it weakens their resolve. Whereas if you cut up all exit, they know without a shadow of a doubt, they're fighting for their lives and will fight tooth and nail until they win or die. But then again, ants. Well, I mean, okay, he's speaking ant language. Okay, this is a strategy. Oh, he rolls. That was actually amazing. Close on your average human being. What's so cool about, about this, like, I can't help but feel like most people in this situation, the Nen and the fantasy nature of this aside, the difficulty of this one-on-one -on -one notwithstanding, most people would lose just by default by thinking about the fact that even beating this person or this challenge is just the first in a string. Gon is just thinking about this moment in front of him right now. Put a juke on him. Put an old football juke. That looked like Goku right there. Just hit him. Just caught him. <laughs> nice. And smush him. Oh yeah, that's true. This kind of comes full circle. With no backup. Oh, I'd be so happy if you just, just squished him to death. Oh my god. Oh my wish. <laughs> All my wishes came true. So much for not killing. But, but yeah, let's not let's not bother with that. <laughs> They got human fear? Oh, they don't care. Like I said before, I think Kul actually has better tools for dealing with the insects. Because he can, like, dismember them. This is the, the start of Gon's murdering. This is more like it. This is what I wanted. I'm glad Gon figured that out and just, like, dispensed with the whole you don't need to die thing. He kind of did need to die. Goes pissed. I mean, at some point, yeah, you can't just, you can't brawl this out all the way to the end of the line. I mean, other people are also going to show up during this because of the commotion. The hell is that? Okay, it's his radar. Oh, we can sense the Nen. <laughs> It's still agitating that he is doing this so easily, like without instruction. As crazy as it is, I bet there's someone out there in the Nen world who would be willing to teach them for the right price. Is that his lot in life to get eaten for Nen? A what? Can you take a giant ass yo yo? It was just experimenting. Well, that's about it. That should do it. <laughs> that's so badass. Yeah, for real. I was kind of. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're nowhere near Ramit, Ramit's level, the Royal Guard or whatever. No, but the Royal Guard exists and is learning Nen. Finally, I've been waiting for this. Is it a good roll? Good roll. 
Yeah, it's best. Is there any good spin? Yeah, I love it. It's so cool. Reminds me of Gundam Wing. Oh, he's going to do an area attack. A lot of faith in going to Kalua. That is so awesome. Wow, we really just power scaled Kite, huh? <laughs> That's great. That's amazing. Kalua? <laughs> I mean, if you're looking at one technique. That area attack, though. I mean, it was perfect. There was no better move for that moment. Yeah, right. You, got, you really gotta think of them as just bugs, like titans. Yeah, well, that's gonna happen too. There's cults. I mean, that's that seems to be the major dilemma incoming. Not him. Not the koala. Where's the koala? La 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 la. <laughs> so bizarre. So weird. This is Armageddon and death, and then this ending. That was a really tight, well-conceived episode. That feels more right. That feels more in line with my expectations of Gon and Kalua and where they should be by now. They finally have a moment to like dominate, and then Kai comes in and it's just something else, man. Transcendent. Everything I wanted. Definitely setting up for what I'm guessing will be cult. You know, going looking for humanity in them. He's gonna find it eventually. That'll be interesting to see. And I love how all of it, including that Grim Reaper death to everyone in the immediate vicinity attack, was a bad roll. Another animal life lost, and a lot of tree lives lost. Also, even though it was only about 30 seconds, I love the setup that happened in the beginning of the episode, realizing that this is about to become an international incident and people are going to show up. I wonder like what characters actually we're going to get introduced to and what familiar faces we'll see. How cool would it be to see like Netero, Netero jump in and like actually have to use his full power?